I wouldn't say it comes to you. I, I would say um, you should find it, and some people know it because they have maybe, I, I believe in reincarnation, right? So I've lived in the past life. So if you're very clear in your previous life what your purpose is, then quite often in this life, you'd automatically kind of know your purpose because that's something you've done for a long time. Um, but most people don't know their purpose in life is because they never spend any time with themselves, right? So if I wanted to get to know you or if I wanted to get to know, we need to hang out with him, right? So if I spend an hour with him, I only get to know him for a little bit. But if I every um, Friday at 4 p.m. I got together with David to dial, my sub to dial my conscious mind, like you do in England, right, for about two hours, and after a year, I would get to know him really well. Right? I'd understand him, he'd understand me, he knew what things made me upset, what I liked, what I didn't like, I know a lot about him. But the only way I can get to know about him is to spend time with him. And people don't spend time with themselves. And people say to me, oh, I spend time with myself. Every evening I walk my dog, that's my alone time. I go like, no, that's uh, walking the dog. Oh, when I go to the gym, that's my time with me. No, that's going to the gym. Alone time is you sitting down, either on a chair or cross-legged on the floor, no music, no books, no podcasts, no journals, no nothing, and having a conversation with yourself. Now the next question is, what kind of conversation do you have? Well, I would ask, you know, questions like, what do you love? What do you like? Do you like ice cream? Do you like beer? What kind of beer? How much beer do they drink in London? You know, do you know? And, you know, where did you grow up? What, what are you passionate about? What drives you? What do you want out of life? And the more you have this conversation with him, the more I find out. So have these conversations with yourself every day. And if every morning you took five minutes to have a conversation with yourself, after a few months, you would really get to know you. You could ask yourself, how do I feel? Am I happy? Am I living the life that I want? Am I passionate about what I do? Do I have things that I love? What will I say about my life at the end of my life? How do I want to live my life? What's my purpose? But people don't have five minutes in the morning. They're too busy, right? But then if your friend calls you up and say, can we get together for dinner? You say, I can't do this Wednesday, but I can next Thursday. And then you go out for two hours for dinner with a friend. Do you know how many five minute segments there are in two hours? There's 24. That means you can skip the dinner, sit with yourself five minutes each day for 24 days in a row. Right? And it all comes down to priorities. So the more time you spend with yourself, the more you get to know. But spending time with yourself is just not going for a walk. It's actually sitting down and having a conversation, a dialogue. The same way you would get to know a friend, you get to know yourself the same way. Start talking and having that every morning and don't stop till you start to really discover.